see let me open india odi cricket uh, scores normally so see this uh, player gambhir runs 11 45 minutes balls 25 right and strike rate is 44 right opposition is versus pakistan right so you have uh, data like this right even you have the venue uh, but I'm not interested to plot venue normally so what I'm doing is that so my main motto with the decision tree is that so I want to create a new column called performance so how I need to judge the performance so if the strike rate is greater than 70 then the performance is good if the strike rate is less than 20, uh, less than 70, the strike rate is, uh, the performance is bad. So this is how I going to segregate. So what I am doing is that I am building a decision tree. I am building a decision tree. So what happens, this decision tree going to learn about how Gautam Gambi runs, minutes, ball faced versus strike rate, right? How it going to impact the performance how runs, minutes and balls faced are going to impact the performance and not only that the opposition also impacting my performance right so here all these things are inputs and performance is your output so what I need to do if anybody tells you in the final stage of why you were performing a decision tree now so after performing decision tree in the last stage if anybody came near you and if anybody explains you regarding the balls faced of any player let it be Dhoni so somebody came to you they, they have given you a data so Dhoni faced 10 balls uh, sorry 10 runs and he stayed in the ground something around 20 minutes so he play, he faced a balls of something called as 30 balls so strike rate is so on and so forth what is his performance whether it's good or bad so your decision tree grown up predicted automatically that's your main output right so if you observe clearly this is your data so now what I'm doing is that see this is your code that's it I not even wrote anything more than this if you observe from on the yesterday I have written some kind of code on today but if you observe clearly only the thing we need to focus in any algorithm in uh, data science is that you need to know the concept that's it no no matter of the coding what you need to write so see here let me compare first let me run this code and let me show you up so what I'm doing is that I'm importing the data India ODI 2013 data so import data set from Excel sheet so I'm browsing it let me write India Excel sheet right let me click open let me click on import so this is even your coding you can write it as India ODI batting read underscore excel file dot choose you can write a code like this otherwise so even you can import the data in this format right let me import the data data is imported so this is how the data is like right so now you are going to the data set you are going to the coding part uh, which one uh, decision tree cricket right yeah so now what I'm doing is that I'm using a function called attach why we use attach so why we use a attach function normally in order to write without attach function so see here so if I upload a data what I need to do I have imported India ODI data right let me run here I'm running in the bar so in order to go across I want to calculate the mean of uh, balls faced are you able to find anything called balls faced no you are unable to write them down directly so what you are doing in order to go into the columns of your data called India what you are doing is that first you need to write this and you need to write the dollar so whenever you load called dollar you are able to get player runs minutes ball faced opposition so balls faced and you were clicking control i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any queries you can just leave them in our comment box and don't forget to subscribe our channel thank you okay.